one I made for Man Makes. And it's time for a Dollar Tree haul. So you can uh, follow me here on uh, YouTube. And also, if you're interested in any of my DIYs, how-tos, tutorials, product reviews, and a whole bunch of other uh, crafty things, please check out my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com. So shall we get started on my Canadian Dollar Tree haul, by the way? So all the items in the Canadian Dollar Trees are $1.25. I got this little box of tissues to go in my car. And actually, it doesn't fit anywhere in my car, so now it's going to be used in the house. But that's okay. That's okay. We need tissues all the time. Uh, I got two of these Ital pasta diced tomatoes in the tin. There's no salt added, which is great for me. Here are some items I purchased at Dollar Tree with the intention of leaving them in my car and actually some for my husband's car. Um, this video is being filmed separately because I just don't have time to do the entire haul video at once but I need to put these items in the car so I just uh, thought I would do this part now and go put the stuff away in the car and then go make supper. I got some little pouches so I can store some items in uh, my car. By the way, it's a brand new car, so I thought I would get myself some new things. This is also to leave in my car. A flashlight, always practical. I have another box of tissues that I bought at Dollarama, but when I got back into my car, I thought, oh, I don't really think the box of tissue will fit where I want to put it. But then I went in Dollar Tree and they had these skinny boxes, so I hope this size will fit. I'm not sure which size will fit, so, but I just need a box of tissues in the car, and then my husband can have the other one for his car. I thought I would give these a try, the Armor All Leather Wipes. There's two wipes in here, so I'll leave those in the basket that I bought at Dollarama that I will leave in the trunk of my car. And also these driver's choice screen and tech wipes actually we can i thought oh we can use these in the house too with all our other screen and tech things but i'll probably i'll probably leave one in my car if i have room for it and that's that for my little uh dollar tree items for my vehicle some other goodies that we tried last week, uh, the Great British Biscuit Company, and it is uh, Waterbridge, and these are chocolate enrobed finger biscuits with dark chocolate. So they're very good. These are very, very tasty. They're nice and crunchy, and they have just the right amount of dark chocolate around them. So I got a couple of those because my husband really liked them. I was uh, running low on garbage bags, I so I picked up this box of seven bags of Good Sense uh, black garbage bags. I have to say that prior to this, uh, a few weeks ago, I bought the other box that has the yellow kind of draws plastic drawstring in it, and they're not very they're not very uh, sturdy bags. You can't put a lot in there. You can't can't get it heavy. So I don't know, I hope these are a little bit better. But I just didn't have time to go to another store to buy another brand, so I picked those up while I was at Dollar Tree. I got a couple more of the Toad Alley Choczels snacks. And I bought one of the Baby Lips Crystal such a good price at $1.25. I saw Baby Lips at Dollarama and at Dollarama the Baby Lips are $2. So, you know, 75 cents is 75 cents. So, happy to get that. Oh, I bought a little flashlight while I was there from my car and it needs some uh, AA batteries. So, I got those while I was there as well. I'm gonna try these, uh, cause they're, they're new to me. The lens wipes, there are 16 in here. It's a pack of 
individually wrapped little wipes for uh, glassware, electronics. Very handy to have uh, in my purse or in uh, my husband's briefcase, briefcase or one of my son's backpacks. They like we all like to have these because we all wear glasses and we have devices. They get mucky. I got Kitty a little treat here, Whiskus Pate, the salmon one. I don't buy her a lot of, of I guess, store or the commercial brand of cat food because she's got a very sensitive stomach, but I know she likes to get a little treat just like us once in a while, so I got her that. I also got this box of screen cleaning wipes. Uh, these are the ones I usually buy. The these ones are are new to me, but this one has is a package of I believe yeah. There's 20 wipes in the package, and these are just individually wrapped. So uh, this is like more for the convenience of just uh, keeping one in your pocket or purse or whatever. And this, so not, this is a good thing to keep at your desk or. I guess in your briefcase or school bag or whatever. I got one of these uh, crackle candles. There's not many left at my Dollar Tree. They only seem to arrive last week and most of them are already gone. So I'm gonna, I thought this one had a lovely scent. And I'm gonna try this one. I got two packages of the different little Decorative tape, the skinny ones. I like using these a lot in uh, my well, planners, although I haven't been using it in my planners, but I like to use these in my art journals and other crafty things. They're just, they're just neat because the, they have really small print and they have these really vivid colors too. So that a uh, little tube of Glisomed hand cream. That's to go in uh, my car. And this is new this week at Dollar Tree. Well, at the Dollar Tree I go to these little tubes of hashtag BU uh, 3D fabric paint. I am not familiar. It's, oh, it's by Tulip. The Tulip brand product. Okay. I just didn't re recognize the packaging. So it's just a little fabric, it's just a little bottles of fabric paint and they have this pointy tip. I look forward to testing this out because I am always in the search of a white ink, white gel, uh, any kind of white poster paint pen um, or anything that like even white out that has, that comes out on the point. Because I use a lot of white uh, inks and paints in my mixed media work. I think you all recognize these. I buy these every week. Napkins. I got another one of these little like keychain or little handbag accessory with the little pink tassels. It's pretty nice to decorate a bag with this or your plan or two. And I picked up this book. Uh, it's, it's quite nice. It's, it's, like, it's a fabric cover. It's a hard cover, but it's covered in fabric here. And it's called Remix. It's a decorating with culture, culture objects, and soul. Um, it's, it's a really interesting book on decorating, uh, design and decorating. And since I, I work as a designer, uh, I'm always interested in seeing all sorts of uh, reading all sorts of uh, books and different types of design and decorating ideas. Even if it's not something uh, that I would do, I still I still learn a lot of things by reading this and I get inspiration for other projects. And it's actually, it, it's really good about, it talks a lot about mixing patterns and colors and designs and not being afraid to mix uh, styles too and how to put it all, how to blend different styles to make it, give it a cohesive 
and uh, nice look. So I got this book. I read most of it already <laughs> last night and I actually, because it's only a dollar, I like to buy uh, nice books like this at Dollar Tree and I tend to alter them in my uh, art journaling, junk journaling, mixed media and stuff. And uh, that's all for my Dollar Tree haul this week. It's not a huge haul, but it's uh, what I needed. I got and other things, not just what I needed. But uh, so I hope you liked this video. And if you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Also, a like, comment, share. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So take care of yourself, and I'll catch you after the next haul. Bye.